It's a TV game show that takes place right here in my taxi. All right, let's take a ride to the cash cab. Congratulations, you just entered the cash cab. No way! Yes! yes. yes. About to win some bucks, yes. dude! Yes! So the way this works is I'll ask you, this, you a series of questions. If you answer correctly, you'll win some cash. Okay. All right. Good to you? Cash cab. Awesome. Here we go. Yeah. All right. So your first question is, why study mortality rates? Yeah, you All right. Split, bro. Um, Come on, yeah. I think mortality can provide information that may prevent deaths. Yeah, that is correct. You just won $25. Yes. Yes. Let's go. Right. Congratulations. Clutch. Question two. What are three sources of mortality data? I think I got this one. All right. What's right. the first one? Death certificates, hospital records, yeah. and autopsy reports. I think, right, man? That's got to be Yeah, right. I'm going I'm to say that. That is correct. Right. You've just won 50 more dollars. Yes! Oh, that's what I'm talking Make about. bank. Dude, this is ridiculous. Question three for $75. Are death certificates a good source of mortality data? Why or why not? Come on, man. Oh, man. Death certificates are not a good source of mortality data because they often, there are many underlying causes that are not shown in death certificates. That is also correct. Get out of here. You killed it. How much did we win for that one? $75. Oh so that puts gosh. you at $125. Hell wow. yeah. Uh, <laughs> this is awesome. The fourth question. What are the two key factors in a death certificate? Um, two key factors. I think it's demographic factors as well as the cause of death, man. That is correct. Yeah, yeah dude. This is All right. How much was that? How that was one was $100. Oh, yeah. Dude, that was awesome. Yeah. 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 Yeah
All right, man. So, so when you calculate, I'm thinking it, it's just... the annual death rate per thousand people, and that's like what it's equal to. So you have the numerator. I think is number of deaths within a specific time period okay. over, over the number of people in a population at okay. midpoint, okay. and all that's multiplied by a thousand. That is correct. Yeah. Yeah. Congratulations, dude. dude. I knew you knew. That you was intense, yeah. man. That was awesome. Here you just go. won $25. Congratulations. Oh, okay. On okay. to question number two. That's a start. In All 2007, 10.7% right. of people aged 20 and older in the United States had diabetes. What had Med diabetes? What measure of disease frequency applies to this fact? Okay, man. Um, the, oh, okay. I think I got this right. Yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Is it stratum specific rate? I think so. That is correct. Yes. You just won 50 more oh, dollars, yeah. putting Heck your total yeah. at $75. There we go. On okay. to question this is number awesome. three. Got some pocket change. Why would we adjust a possible crude rate? Oh, it's adjusting. Adjusting. Oh, I think I know this one. All right, man. It's to make the representations of populations equal and to ensure that data is not skewed. I'm going to go with it. That is correct. Yeah. yeah. You see this, man? We got this. Hell yeah. You We're just won another $100. Congratulations. All right. We are making bank right now. Oh, we just got to get this question. Let's question do question it. number four. All right. Give it to Name me. the four measures of disease frequency. Oh, come on, man. Do you know okay, this one? Okay, okay, Come on. So one of them is crude rate, right? Yep, yep. Crude rate. And then the other one's uh, stratum. Yeah, and you have adjusted rate, right? Adjusted rate, right? Yeah. And then the, what's the last? Stratum the last. specific rate, right? Stratum specific rate. Yeah. Let's go. That is it. correct. Congratulations. Right. Yeah. You, we're doing great. Wow. Wow! It's time for the red light challenge. Oh my no! Oh, red light challenge! So the yeah, way this is going to work right. is I'm going to ask you a series of questions in which you'll give me the answer as fast as you can. All right, okay. let's do this. First question, what is the number of deaths in the U.S. in 2010? Oh, man. What do you think it's close? It has to be like minute. 2 million. 2 million? Closer to three, or you think? Nah, dude, two two million five hundred fifteen thousand four hundred and fifty-eight. I'm gonna go with it. Going. That is going. correct. Yeah. Oh, oh no way! It. Off the top of my head, I got that one. Right. The, wow. the next question: What was the death rate oh, per, on, per how many this. people? Per one hundred thousand people. Uh, oh. is that is that close to eight hundred seven deaths? That is correct. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Knew it. Knew it. And what was how the life expectancy? This? Life Dude. expectancy? Come on, I think Oh, I, okay, okay. 78, like 78.7, right? 78. That is correct. <laughs> you get that, Dude, dude. You you class, man. I'm just learning. Right. Well, we're about to reach our final destination. You have time all for right. one last question. Ooh. Yeah, we're almost there, man. One more. Almost there with all this money. Let's hear it. What Let's is the core it. of epidemiology? Dude, uh, oh, discovery of new comparison, diseases. Comparison. Comparison. Data, data, conversation. And prediction. Prediction. Is that all of them? Is that all of them? Then, then yeah, that's of, that's all of them. That has no, no, to be no, no, all. No, 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 hold on, dude, dude, hold on, all hold right, on. Yeah, right, there's yeah. one more. There's one more. There's one more. Condensation. Oh, is it, it's discovery of new diseases. That is correct. Oh, Congratulations. Yeah. Hell yeah, we won. Awesome. Yeah. Heck yeah, we, we got made all it. our money. We made it. You just now arrived to the final money. destination. Oh, Here's your money. Oh, Take it and see. enjoy. Congratulations. What is the main difference between direct? and indirect standardization. Indirect standardization cannot compare disease rates between multiple study populations, only disease rates between population and a reference population. What term is interchangeable with, with standardization? Adjustment. Got these guys right here, let's pick them up. All right, let's take a ride to the cash cab. Congratulations, you just entered the cash cab. Yes! Awesome! So the way Let's this will work... Money. Yeah, how does the, this work? I will ask you a series of questions. Each question will give you a chance to win some cash. Awesome, right. let's do it. Yeah? Okay, so you're ready. Your first question is... 
the number of deaths due to a specific disease divided by the total number of deaths in a population gives us what? It's like, uh, it's a ratio. It's like That's a proportional PM, PMR. Yeah, proportional, proportional mortality, mortality ratio. ratio. That is correct. You've nice. just won $25. Yeah. $25 richer. Awesome. All right, on to question number two. In what two ways can we compare two diseases? Two ways, two diseases. Um, ratio and difference. difference. Yeah. Ratio that is difference. also correct. Yes. Nice. You just won 50 more dollars, putting your total at $75. dollars Great. Number Question three. The occurrence of a new disease within a defined period of observation in a specific population is known as what? Oh, I think I know this one. It's, uh, what is it? It's like... It's, Incidents or prevalence? It's one of those. Incidents, right? Incidents. Incidents is correct. Yes. Congratulations. Good work. Awesome. On to question number four. What are three types of specific ratios? Mm, That's a tough one. It's like... uh, Cause, cause specific, cause and age, age specific, and uh, what's the third one? Be sex specific, right? That is correct. Yes. Congratulations. Nice. On to question number six. Here we go. What are two sources of mortality data? Ah, uh, it's um, it's crude mortality rate, right? That's the first one, and okay. second one. Case fatality rate. That is correct. Congratulations. Yes. That puts your total at three hundred dollars. Nice. Awesome. I think I'm going to the bars tonight. The next question is, what is the crude mortality rate, and how do you calculate it? Oh man. I think you got this one. Man. I think the crude mortality rate is the number of deaths uh, divided by the number of people. Which is like per thousand per year. Uh, and then you calculate it by the number of deaths in one year, and then you divide it by the mid year population, I believe. And multiply that by a thousand. That is correct. Yeah. <laughs> Congratulations. We I got that by the skin of our teeth. Ooh, that was man. a close one. But we got it. We're Might still, have to phone a friend. We're still in the cash cab. That puts your total at five hundred dollars. Congratulations! That's fantastic. Yes. What does the case fatality rate represent, and how do you calculate it? Um, I think it represents uh, like lethal power of the virulence of the disease, and calculated by the number of deaths among those affected, which is divided by the number of individuals affected and all multiplied by 100. That is correct. Congratulations. How did I remember that? That epi class really helped me out, I think. Yeah, thank goodness. Thank thank you for college. On to the next question. What is the difference between crude mortality rate and case fatality rate? Well, let's see. The crude mortality rate. <laughs> is more, or is less specific than the case fatality rate, I believe. Uh, case that is incorrect. Oh. What? That is your first strike. Dun, dun, dun. The difference between crude mortality <laughs> rate mean? and case fatality rate <laughs> is the case fatality rate is more specific than the crude mortality rate as it references a specific disease and time frame and only considers those individuals who have contracted the disease. Oh, man. Can't believe we didn't get that, dude. Me neither. Should have had that. That's our first strike. All right, you have one strike left and one final question remaining before we reach our final destination. Mm, Gotta get this one. I need that money. What was the crude mortality rate for the United States in 2012? Um, uh, it was like 20, 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%. 20%
or something, right? That is incorrect as no, well. No. That is your second. No! Dun, dun, dun. Did we just lose all of our money? That's five hundred dollars that you would have had. Oh my gosh! Had you studied your epidemiology? Didn't study enough. Well, we're pulling up here to the final destination. Well, at least we better luck next time, ride. guys. I'll take the free cab. The correct answer was eight point four percent. Eight point four. Oh.